Hello guys, this is Dosiko from Gadget Berry and I just want to do a quick interior review of this 2004 Kia Picanto. As you can see, this one is a very old car. A lot of things have been stripped away. When I got this car, it was parked for a long time. I think for like six months to a year. So I'm just going to show you some quick features of this interior because it doesn't seem to have a lot. So the gear rubber here was kind of dirty, so I just removed it and washed it. I don't know if you can see it, but there is it over the online. Okay, so this is a pretty much simple interior of like on a car because it doesn't have a lot of things for starters. We don't even have a radio here, but we do have uh, our standard air vents. We got like one, two, three, four five six events at the front we've got this small little interesting storage pocket over here I like to call the storage compartment yes sorry for that angle over there but you also have another storage over here at the bottom just under your steering wheel and since this one is had a single DIN radio, you also get another storage pocket uh, below the radio section. So now there's another slash tray on top of the cubby holder. And sorry, the cubby hole. So here's the cubby hole, pretty decent size glove box. Uh, you can call it a cubby hole here yeah, in South Africa, that's why we call it. But in other countries, they call it a glove box so i think that's going to be a more universal term for me to, to use in this review you do get your aircon settings this is your hot this is your cold of course very smooth very smooth knobs over here and switches get your cold air get your hot air which is very interesting to get an aircon set up on this vehicle you do get another slash tray that i forgot to mention and you get your 12 volt charging port which you can also use to put a bluetooth transmitter and uh here's your five speed manual gearbox excuse the rubber that's missing over there actually the leather yeah the leather that's missing here's our e-brake and uh, it's, it's got nice seats with uh, a leather on the sides as you can see here and some black accents grayish accents and then another type of gray within the actual uh pad of the seat on the door pad you don't find a lot there's no cup holder there however you do get a slash tray to store some of your things as well which is very interesting because some of the older cars don't actually come with this by the way this is a 2004 model so this is a very old car i don't know if i mentioned over here you do get your fog light control it actually has fogs at the back but at the front there's wires that are sticking out um that are actually for front fog lights so if you want to add fog lights in the front you need to just buy the lights and put them there i think this button over here will actually work with your rear fogs and your front fogs enough about the fogs and everything i like the fact that the indicator stick is on the right hand side which is very comfortable and easy to reach um when you're driving since we're driving on the right hand side here in south africa and most of the people are right-handed around here so very very interesting little cabin over here um i don't know what more to say about this car I did say it's a quick review However, in this particular vehicle, you do not find a tachometer. So where there would normally be a tachometer, you get a fuel gauge. Doesn't look bad at all. It actually fills up that gap for a tachometer. This one goes up to 180 kilometers per hour. And it's done about 260,000 kilometers. Nice vehicle. If you ask me, you do get... Uh, a mirror so you can if you're a lady or actually even if you are a guy if you just wanna do some quick some some quick checks on your face before you actually hit the road 
and see if you don't have any oily stuffs residue like left on your face okay don't worry about that but yeah it can be useful for a lot of things mm, what more to say about this kia it's very spacious there's a lot of headroom even though you do not get as much of legroom at the back but you do get uh, like three cup holders on the whole vehicle there's one in the middle here for the rear passengers and there's one two for the front passengers which is very very dope but honestly i'd prefer that they add cup holders i would actually love that if they added cup holders on the door bends and the door pads themselves however they chose not to do that so this was a really 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 short review of the interior of this car i didn't want to show the steering too much because the previous owner what he did was actually strip out the airbag and i think they sold the airbag because no airbag would actually pop so perfectly and it shows that it was sewn in but it was not a good job i did get a new steering maybe i'm gonna do a video when i install that steering but for now i just want to say that's all for the interior of this vehicle if you do like this video please do like press the like button and of course subscribe to the channel it would be very much appreciated. It was to Seeker from Gadget Berry. Thank you very much. You all have a lovely day.